For today's practice, you're just going to need a mat and a towel or a blanket. Start by getting your towel or blanket ready to use. We're just folding it up so that it can be placed under the knees while we're kneeling, just to give ourselves a little bit of padding. Next, we're going to get into a hands and knees position and just find a neutral spine. Start off playing with your feet. You can try having the tops of your feet on the floor, curling your toes under, just see what feels most comfortable for you. And then we're gonna to start to inhale, dropping the belly, looking forward slightly, coming into cow, and exhaling as we arch the back and let the head hang. Inhale, back through cow, and you'll exhale through cat again. Feel free to follow your own breathing rate. Coming back to a neutral spine, we're going to start to shift our body back and forth. The movement is coming from the shoulders and the hips, moving through flexion and extension at the same time. Now we're going to move into a wide-legged child's pose. So bring those knees apart a bit, toes touching behind you, and sink your bum back towards your heels. You can let your arms reach out in front of you, your forehead rest on the floor. And if this is a bit much for you, you can always take something to put on the floor for your forehead to rest on. We're just going to breathe here and we're just really going to notice the rib cage expanding, the back settling, and our body feeling heavy into the floor. All right, so this next one is optional, but if you want to walk your hands back a little bit, we're gonna roll up through a cat back into tabletop, dip the belly, coming into a cow spine as we shift our bum back towards our heels, and then coming back through, it's kind of a body roll. So you're just noticing the smooth undulation of movement from your pelvis, up your spine, through your shoulders, and into your neck and head. and you can just return back to a normal child's pose. Okay, so you can lift up your head just enough that you can walk your hands over to the right hand side, coming back down into a child's pose like position, but with that lengthening happening down the left side body. You might feel a gentle stretch through the left armpit, the left arm, the left side body, the left hip. You might notice a little bit of scrunching in the right side body. We're going to make our way back through to center, just taking a moment to be back in normal child's pose, breathing into both sides of the rib cage evenly now that we're back here. And then when you're ready, you can start to walk your hands over to the left hand side, opening up along that right hand side of the body. Now you'll probably notice when you're in these side bendy child's pose positions that it's much easier to breathe into the one side of the rib cage than the other. So it's quite a nice contrast when we eventually come back to normal child's pose and everything can expand evenly on both sides. All right, so we're going to work our hands back towards the center of our mat so that we're back in just regular child's pose. Come back to your breath and just see if you can sink a little deeper into this position. Okay, so you can start to make your way back to tabletop position, bringing the knees 
back in a little bit, curling the toes under if you want to, and inhaling into cow, exhaling into cat, just exploring that pliability of your spine after we've done a little bit of movement, a little bit of breathing, maybe some things feel different. And you can come out of that and back to sit and just take a moment to notice how you're settling into your body now. <laughs> 